While mechanical malfunctions only account for less than 1% of accidents, more occur from pre-existing health conditions. Our Connor Cake joins us now with some of the factors you should consider if you're going to an amusement park or fair. Connor. Marie, I worked at an amusement park for almost four years and there are many restrictions some people may not know about. Amusement park rides are something people treat as fun and they usually don't think about getting hurt. While there are rules and regulations to follow before riding, especially if you have pre-existing conditions. Probably 90% of the things that happen is either somebody shouldn't be on a ride or somebody's doing something on a ride that they shouldn't be doing. There's regulations and the amusement company puts those regulations on those rides. For instance, if you've got, if you've got heart problems, some rides are not recommended for you to get on. According to the North Carolina Department of Labor, the ones that are setting these guidelines, here are health concerns you should take note of before riding. Pregnant women should not ride any type of ride when, if you have high blood pressure, heart problems, spinal surgeries or back problems in general, collarbones or neck fractures, brain injuries or any type of recent surgery. Coming up at 6, we'll tell you about some of the latest of where, the, where in the east the same amusement park company is coming to do some of our local fairs. Connor Cake, 9 on your side.